Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's big porky here. You know, don't you? You know. That's why you've tuned in. I'm raging this morning, raging. This is a message to all you nutrition men and strength and condition men in boxing. Whatever money you've took out of the game, consider it severance pay. Take the train. Get out of Dodge. All right, you're not needed in the sport of boxing. I don't want to hear any of all this data and anal analytics and spreadsheets and big giant size elastic bands around people's knees while they're doing bits of squatting and this and that. It's a load of rubbish. Pe these people, they slink into boxing because they can't get work anywhere. And boxers are insecure, vulnerable people. These people are actually ruining the sport because they're taking money off boxers as well as everybody else that leeches around boxing because that's what it is, leeching. What they do, they leech in, you get a couple of wins, they start telling you that they're your family and you're like family and you're a brother from another mother and all that. I don't want to hear about all that. Family is when you're blood related. All that everybody's everybody's family all of a sudden in, in 21st century. Oh, he's my family, he's always my cousin, he's my brother in law. A load of rubbish. If you're blood, you're family. That's it. Anything else other than blood, you're just a mate, aren't you? Why can't anybody, everybody go back to, he's my mate? All this brother from another mother crap and we're like family. It's rubbish. Rubbish. I've just been watching some interviews the last couple of days and it's baba. Utter baba what people are feeding. For example, I've just seen that Greg Marriott do an interview. What's he going on about? He'll, he'll ride with Kel because he's his boy if he wants to step up to 154. What? Well, Kel's lost at 147 on your shift twice, been knocked out. He's, lo he's, he's lost at £160 pound in your, uh, on your shift. And now you want him to go to 154 and you'll be there for him. Well, you're going to go for an hat trick now. <laughs> Hey, what, what is all that about? If anybody, any of these strength and condition nutrition men were any good, they'd be working with professional footballers and getting paid properly, wouldn't they? They turn up with their apps on the phones and this and that, and it's ruining the sport. If anybody's got a problem with it, come on here and debate with me. I'm not a keyboard warrior. I'm in front of the camera. Come and debate with me. Keyboard warriors are people who hide behind the camera. But this is my opinion, I'm going to have it. I don't think boxing needs it. Moving on to Ruben Tavares. Amir Khan's strength and condition, a nutrition man, money. Got knocked out against Garcia. Pfft. What's all that about? David A, twice knocked out by Bellew, then what were the next one? Dylan White. Oh my god. Jumped on his bandwagon, didn't they? Showing him spreadsheets. Look, who's to say that all these spreadsheets that they're feeding boxers are all right? Where they're patting him on back and telling him they're doing this and doing that and brainwashing boxes with all these graphs and stuff like that. It needs to stop. It needs to stop, right? No offence against anybody offence against anybody trying to get a living, but it's rubbish and it's not needed in boxing. A trainer can do everything for his fighter. He can do strength and conditioner, tell him what to eat, because they've usually been trainers and uh, been boxers, they know what they're on with. But it, it's just out of control now, all these people. And that's all it is, in my opinion. I'm being honest. It's just poncing. It's just poncing. Everybody has a, somebody has a bad performance. Oh, they need a strength and conditioner. What's all that about? Oh, they need to move up a weight. Listen, do you know fighters that move up a weight when they're 30? It's because they don't train as hard when they're 20. Your bone structure don't grow. From, from oh, over that 10 years, you're still the same. It's just laziness. Whatever happened to hard graft? Whatever happened to hard graft? Look, a boxer knows what to eat, when to eat, right? And how to eat and how big are portions. They have scales in their house. So why do they need these people chipping away? Chip, chip, chip. Peck, 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 peck. Like woodpeckers pecking away at the finances. They're not fucking needed in the sport of boxing. Jake LaMotta, for example. 
Jake LaMotta used to run, go on bag and spar and then fight. And that were it. I mean, going back maybe further than Jake LaMotta, fighters were doing 25 rounds and still doing the same thing. They're complicating the sport. And isn't it right, Jake LaMotta were the first one to meet Sugar Ray Robinson? The greatest fighter ever, even better than Ali, according to Ali. So, Jake LaMotta didn't have all these strength and conditioners, did he? And nutrition men and kangaroo meat. Stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. What a load of bollocks. All right. If anybody's offended by this video, any strength and conditioners or nutrition men, porkycorner at mail.com. Come on my channel and let's debate with me. Let's have a debate and let's get to know what you're really taking out of boxers' purses. Because it's a load of shit. The trainer should be the man. The trainer can do everything. The trainer is an ex-fighter. We've got fucking guys who've not fought in their lives. They're working corners. They're wrapping hands up in dressing rooms. Nobody's saying a fucking word. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke. I'm going anyway because I'm pissed off. Peace out.